Hello everybody and welcome back to the Amazing Miss Gaming where today we're going to be playing the third part in the SI Files series SI Files 1C Escapes This is once again created by Girl 523 And uh, yeah, let's get right into this So we've got a shulker in front of us So this is the custom textures A cookie, which I always take, important And a start And another cookie I like your cookies. Was it real or was it all in your mind? Those are the questions you ponder. Would you really have dreamed it all? Or is something more sinister going on? Have you really escaped? Rules and settings. Rules. Particles on, on, RGB off, off, sound on, on. Textures is correct. Click to, yep. You can just click on the text. It's okay. Have fun and enjoy the mystery. Expect you. you should see four side play. If not, you'll have to know it separately. I can see them. Let's put that one back and let's. Uh, what can display belies them? On stone. I guess that's right there. Begin. You are safe now, Duncan. Okay, that's not what I wanted to do. Yes, and that is all that matters. But none of this makes sense. I couldn't have dreamed all of that. It happened. I'm telling you, it did not. Then tell me how you found me. You are in no shape to hear that information. Then how am I to believe you? Dot, dot, dot. The basic info I can tell you is all we know. You were kidnapped. The police trapped, traced the stolen cab, and they found you unconscious in an old abandoned warehouse. Why that creeper kidnapped you, kidnapped you was just you being at the wrong place at the wrong time. But the creeper said his boss sent him and warned him about me. The police got the creeper and he explained he just stole a random cab. He never mentioned the boss. Another part of your memory being altered by trauma. I, I, how? I think that's enough for today. Nurse Carl will take Duncan, H, Duncan back to their room. Follow the leader. Oh. Yeah, there's put me in this cell. I'll bring you some food in a bit. Thanks. How can this be? How can they be telling the truth? Let's look at this logically. Either they're lying or I'm insane. They're probably lying. I would like to think the former rather than the latter. Alright. Seems highly inappropriate that I dreamed all of that. I just don't. I have your dinner. You really should eat. I also gave you extra napkins. Thanks again. You'll be alright. You friends here. Sure. Ah oh, yes. At least I have decent food. Wait a second, there's something written on these napkins. Begin to cipher, what is this? Okay. Think to yourself, the most common cipher I know is the alphabet reversed and 1 minus 99 minus equals 1. What? Okay. In case the others break X Y. Uh, I don't get the riddle. I think it's all the common. The most common cipher I know is the alphabet. I don't quite get this to be honest. I really don't get this. Hmm. All right. So I just uh, I just looked it up. So it's yeah, I, I am not good at these puzzles. I didn't understand what it said. Cipher. Yeah. No shorts. So we're gonna need C. One. Okay. Those are the numbers. C. Uh, A F G I. I Uh, 
save then one get C so whoops give me just oh you have to go upstairs all right why don't you just play stairs there that's way easier so say say hey I have to burn this So, I have one C, and then it is, let me see, uh, C, F, no, that doesn't go there, and it is M, M, Y, and then S, And D and E and T no, D T T No and C this should be the bottom row M Y S D E C E C D Did I get it wrong? Seriously? I'll be right back. All right, I found it out. It is an S which I needed to place down. Got him. A username and password? I need to get to a computer. There's one in the other room, but I... But how to unlock the door? Buried some food. I can save the rest for later. I'm already full. And I've got to thank you for playing cookies. I like cookies. Cookie, cookie, cookie. <sighs> this lamp is metal. I bet I can use it. I bet I can use that to pick the lock. I just need something to break the light. Ah. Hey. Look, I got a happy object. Ah, metal filament. Okay, I am in the computer. GM has logged on. Greetings, detective. GM, you remember me, don't you? Yes, you helped me out of food, uh, whatever it was in. Uh... I'm glad to see they haven't broken you. You are strong, Duncan. I knew they had to be lying to me. It just did not add up. That means my work shall be uh, be all the easier. Work. Getting you, me, the others out of here. Others? Yes, there are three others trapped in here with you. Mina, Benjamin and Lillian. Kurt is behind, Kurt is behind all of this. Yes. So what is the plan? Playing along with what Dr. Kendall and Dr. Carson are saying. You mean act like I believe them? Yes, they report to me and I report to Kurt. I can then convince Kurt to let me deal with you. Deal with me? I was right. I knew I couldn't have dreamed it, dreamed it all. Uh -huh. Duncan. Uh, uh oh. I, su uh -huh. I suggest you get back to your room before someone sees you. Huh? You have friends here. A great many. You should get some rest. They will want to question you in the morning. Alright. That's the second time I slept, but that's okay. Huh. I have an interesting day. Oh, alright. I have an interesting day ahead of me. I hope this works. 
Ah, good. You're up. Had a good night's rest? Yes, Dr. Carson. Your attitude seems to have changed. Have you given any thought to what we told you? Yes, I did a lot of thinking yesterday. Good. Good. Morning, Carson. How's the patients? They say they did a lot of thinking. Really? Yeah, even the attitude seems to have, been, have to improve. Uh, I'm right here, you know? Yes, we know. Dot, dot, dot. Well, what have you thought about? Yes, what have you thought about? Well, I am starting to believe you. Think to yourself, I can't believe I was doing this. Really? That is great. I mean, that you are getting better. Quite an epiphany for one night's sleep, don't you think? I never said I fully believed you. Just starting to. It just starts. Well, what do you believe? Choose the response you think will convince Dr. Kendall. Uh. Oh, okay, so you're seeing the stories aligned there. Uh. Thinking of my story, some of it does seem far-fetched. Hmm. Choice one. I mean, you know, there are portals to all the worlds, but the one I said I saw was not like those. There are only two portals in those worlds. No more, no less. Idea that there's ever another, though not impossible, is highly unlikely. I guess. Okay, continue. A house rig with traps. That seems rather silly. I've known my friends since college. The idea that one of them could potentially want to harm me is rather far-fetched. Alright, anything else? If my current circumstances, I can only assume you speak the truth. It makes no sense to you. If my current circumstances, I can assume you speak the truth. Hmm, you have done a lot of thinking. I believe our patient has a breakthrough, Dr. Carson. Excellent. Should I inform? No. They still need to be under observation for a while. To be sure they are recovering well. But are we not supposed to refer them to Markson? Markson can wait. But K K Kendall, Carson, you know the rules. Yeah, I suppose. Now if you excuse us. Oh, I'm definitely convinced, Carson. Kendall is still skeptical. Is skeptical. Is still skeptical. What was that sound? Check the computer. Jim, you there? Yeah. How did it go? I convinced Carlson. Kendall is another matter. Hmm. Ah, I wasn't worried about that. Suggestions? Shut up, Windows noises. Suggestions? I can try and pull some strings. It won't be easy. Jim? Dot, dot, dot. Jim is locked up. Gotta go, Carson is here. Sit tight, don't do anything crazy. GM locked off. Okay. This is getting crazy. Nurse car, through the door. Walls are thin, walls are thick. Walls have something to it. What? Walls are thin, walls are thick. Walls have something to do it. Something to it. Walls? Walls. Walls are thin, walls are thick. Huh? Walls are thin, walls are thick. Walls have something to it. That's seems a little off. Visionary. Hmm. Huh. 
starting to wonder what to do here. Got anything in my head? No. Hmm. I wonder what this could be. Okay. So walls are thin, walls are thick. Walls are something to it. Oh, this is completely ominous, but you can walk right through these walls, which is if you don't find this. It is just what is this? Subject one of oh. let's get her, let's get reading in our bed. Subject one of all occupation detective risk high notes keep a close eye on them. Pre testing status healthy brain activity above average twenty four hour deal. trial status complete brain activity above average notes very determined to their advantage or detriments. Slightly suspicious of where they were. Home world trial. Status above. Status complete. Brain activity above average. Notes once loaded into their home. Whirlwind about the daily life. Notice slight glitches and deja vu. Need to fix. How they got into the bridge control is a mystery. Recovery. Status ongoing. Brain activity above average. Notes seems to be breaking. But unsure. I think they are lying, but why? I need to talk to the boss. What the hell is going on? This is all about me. They put me in some sort of cube? <coughs> they must be coming back. I better get back to my room. Well, it seems you are in for a test. Mm -hmm. It seems you're in for a test. Really? That's Kendall believes you need a few more tests. Alright. Now follow me across the hall to the lab. Observation room testing. Alright, here's another test. Alright, here's another test. What do I need to do? First, need to test if you're physically recovering well. How? Just a bit of coordinated jumping. Make it to the top and hit the button. Alright. Oh god. Hoppa. Wait a minute, that just looks like... Excellent, come back down. Good, now for another test. But Markson said... Markson is not here, now is she? Did someone say my name? Markson! I didn't think you would come here. The late doctor sent me to check on things. How's the patient? They're yeah, doing alright, I guess. They've had a breakthrough. Okay, have they now? Uh, again, I am right here. Oh, yes. Where are my manners? How are you feeling, Duncan? How do you know my name? The Inquisitor Type C. No matter. I'm telling you, they are ready for your care, Markson. I think they are not. I think not. I want to look at that screen, but my camera is right there. Hello. Well, well, well. It seems we have a bit of a statement on our hands. Allow me to break the tie. Read this, Dr. Kendall. Hmm. It appears you are to report to Marks and Daily for further testing. So I am to work with another doctor. Apparently so. Well then, shall we head to my office? Follow the leader. Follow me. Pay no mind to these other rooms. There are just other patients. That is a restricted area. Welcome to my office. I have a few questions for you to ask you before we begin. 
Oké. Okay. First things first. State your name. Ah. Duncan. Occupation. Detective at the Zolvit Detective Agency Orville Branch. Mouthful. Ah. Oh yeah, what's your understanding of technology? I can do interesting ah. things. Yes indeed it can. Dot dot dot. Ah. I believe I should probably introduce myself. I am Dr. Markson. Dr. Ah. Gamma Markson. Gamma Markson? Alice? Ah. Yes indeed. How did you... This may be a secure office with the hard house among us. Hope I do not trust to keep their ears away. Got it. How did I know about you? Yeah, that was I wanted to, what I wanted to ask. My boss told me about you. Who's your boss? I am not a liberty to say. Now for your first test on a computer over there is a simply simple it's a simple memory test. Complete it and report back to me. Okay. Alright, let's get this bread. Wait a minute, this is not a memory game, this is a secure database. Hacking time. Firewall, I need to take this down to get at the data. Firewall break. Alright, let's look at these files. Welcome dot 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 blah, blah, blah. Subject data. Subject file. 104, 105, 106, 107. Number 4. Name Duncan. Page detective notes. Managed to escape the structure, attempting to convince all a lie. Number 5. Lillian Artson. Occupation chemist. Notes. Hasn't figured out she is in the structure. 106. Benjamin Harton, occupation electrical engineer, notes is suspicious but hasn't figured it out yet. Makes notes of, make notes of suspicions and edit program accordingly. 107. Mina Jones, occupation architects, notes escaped but is under observation. Still confused. That's all the subject information. I should see what else this database holds. Project SB 1ABC. You do not have the permission to view this data. Darn it. It is encrypted and it would take hours to decrypt. Correct current system status. Uh, main core power, 95%. Efficiency, 50%. Okay. Well, that's all. I think I can get off this database. Should go back to GM. How can I press continue? Complete. Yes, that was very interesting. Excellent. I think you will do fine under my observation. I've spoken with the head host, head boss, and got you cleared to be moved out of the room in the other wing. Here is the key to your new room. I suggest you take a good look around. Recovery scene. All right. Carpet is worn here. Is the painting or is it? I wonder if I. Nope. Oh. Yeah. Recovery B. And recovery A. Keys. I better put this painting back. Problem is, I can't. Um, yeah. Notebook. Oh, look. 
A map, a notebook, and some paper. That looks to be everything. This map I found is a bit strange. It feels rough in some parts. I wonder if it has invisible ink. I should test that theory. I just need some citrus. I bet I can find some somewhere around this area. I should also explore a bit. For your personal notes, GM. Not gonna need this. I'm just the best. Uh, hospital map. Okay. I can't make much of that, now can I? <sighs> ah yes. Now let's check all the walls. Well, on that note, fingering all of this out, just walking outside my room, I think I'm gonna leave it over here. So, uh, like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you enjoyed this and think I've done a very nice job. And I'll see you dudes in the next one. Bye!